People need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. But we don't take a second to realize the purpose is always there. The purpose never leaves us because the very purpose is you. So if you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do something, man, you don't care enough about yourself. I know there's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. And that's where I gain the advantage. You can write everything down if you want to. Be brave enough to write every one of your goals down. But I'm going to tell you something. Life's going to hit you in your mouth and you got to do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knocked out. And I love it. Buster Douglas got knocked out. Nobody ever got knocked out by Mike Tyson and ever got back up. It was almost a 10 count. I, he was stumbling. They were four, three, two, one. And ding, 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 saved by the bell. He goes to his corner. The whole world is like, oh, that's it. Once he comes back out, that's it. Mike's going to just be hammering. And exactly that, Mike Tyson came out like, I got him. I got this kid up against the rope. Listen to me, many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up, you can't give in. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, I need you to do what Buster Douglas did. Buster Douglas start fighting back. What messes you up is you focus on the thing that's not happening. And that causes you to get discouraged. If you get wrapped up into what ain't happening, it get ugly, man. The one way to combat discouragement is with gratitude. Some days, of course, I'll get tired. Some days I will get beat up. Some days I will get knocked down and drained and I will have some bad days. But I will not stop. To me, every day is a beginning, a new day, a new week, a new shot at life an opportunity to come out of the gate like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy. I am going to win. You have to decide to live a life where excuses is not something that you're gonna to do to give yourself a pass. You've got to say, I'm gonna do this because it has meaning for you. Do what you know, not what you feel, and you will manifest your greatness. The most important thing is to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Most of you won't be successful because when you get tired, you quit. I've never met a person who was not successful that didn't have a great amount of self-discipline within their life. Uh, self-discipline and being able to perform and being able to keep your life on schedule and being able to keep commitments and promises and meet deadlines is essential to success. So often the easy path calls to us to be weak for that moment, to break down for that moment. I need you to confront you. I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not going to do me like this no more. You're not going to keep procrastinating. You're not going to keep thinking like that. I need you. You're not. You're not going to continue to sabotage me. You're not. There's things that you know you're supposed to do as a human being. Things that you know are going to improve your life. Do those things. There's things that you know are going to make you a worse person and make your life worse. Don't do those things. Get up early. Do some kind of workout. Eat good foods. Clean your room. Make a list of things that you're supposed to do in your life. And then wake up in the morning and do those things. And no, it is not easy. But you're not going to get it from anyone else but you. What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference? Because it's really easy for anybody to come to work on the days they feel like killing it and killing it. But what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing it? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed? Because those are the f***ing days that are going to define where you end up in your life. When you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. When you're uncommon, have uncommon ways. Get ready for people to try and block you and conspire against you. Develop the interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. 
One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life. You care too much about what people think about you. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? Haters motivate me. Because when they talking about me, that means I'm doing something. You see, while you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. You keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. And you will lose and I will win. Discipline your body. Free your mind. Get up early and go. Get after it and you will become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. Losers always talk about how they hate to lose, but they don't do anything about it. Winners will do whatever the fuck it takes. Winners will show up and stay late every fucking day until they're winning. Winners will talk to anybody they can that can help them and take the lessons to heart and put them in play. That's what winners do. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. Greatness is in you. But the problem is somebody's got to push you. The problem is somebody's got to give you a reward. Somebody's got a project. The problem is you're not self-motivated. You have to stay in beast mode. And so I'm looking at the clock and I'm saying, technically, you can go back to sleep. Technically. But Eric Thomas, if you go back to sleep, you might not wake up to 3.30. You might not wake up to 4 o'clock. And if you wake up at 4 o'clock, Eric, for 30 minutes of sleep, you might be pushing your goals back a week. You might be pushing your goals back a month. You might be pushing your goals back an entire year by sleeping for two hours because you missed an opportunity. Every single day in a safari, a lion wakes up. And every single day in a safari, a gazelle wakes up. If you wake up and you're a gazelle, you realize if you're going to survive, you must outrun the slowest gazelle. Because every single day when the lion wakes up, it's only one thing on that lion's mind. And that is catching the gazelle that couldn't keep up. In your mind, you're thinking you got to outrun the fastest lion. That's not the truth. You just got to stay ahead of the slow gazelle. That's it. Whatever it is that you do professionally, you better make sure you're not in the back of the pack. To develop yourself, you have to go from being a person of good intentions to a person of good actions. You've got to get out of the intending world and get into the doing world. No one will outwork me. No one. You gotta be the hardest workers in the room. Don't f the opportunity out. You gotta work every day. It doesn't end. You can do whatever you wanna do. You guys know that. At some point, you gotta be fing tired of not being number one. You have to be, and you gotta fing play angry, and I play angry. And you have to realize, you have to know, you have to accept that all your excuses are lies. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind. Think about them. You don't have time. That's a lie. You don't have support. That's a lie. You don't have the equipment or the gear. Lies. And you're too tired, or you're too sore, or you're just plain not feeling it. Lies, lies, lies. And there's, you're too busy. Sure you are. That's a lie. You can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's cute to say it. But when it's showtime, when the sun comes up, you've got all the books, you've got all the tapes, you've got all the access. 
Now it's time to hunt. Everybody's got lions on their profiles. Everybody talks positive about themselves. Everybody talks like you a beast. You dress like you a beast. Your image, everything about you says, I'm a beast. When it's beast time, you gotta get up and make it happen. And these challenges that you face, they're gonna do their best to take you down. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it won't be easy. It will be hard because life is hard. That's what life is. Everybody want to win, but everybody don't want to work. Everybody wants a reward, but everybody don't have to want to work. We all got to work. All I'm saying is don't quit. I didn't say don't rest. I didn't say don't recover. I said don't quit. Mentally, you ain't got to take off. Mentally, you can stay connected. And most people will not be successful. They will not reach whatever they wrote because when there's not anything emotionally attached to it, they're going to quit and give up. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing. Or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad that they don't know if they want to keep going to get to go. Because you're going to wake up most days and not feel like it. You're going to wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're going to wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. Man, stop bullshit. If you really got a problem with your life, you'll change it. You're not tired of being broke. You're not tired of being stuck. You're not tired because if you was tired, you would actually do some shit about it. I'm tired of everybody running around complaining as if you're on the receiving end of whatever this world wants to dump on you and you don't have a choice. It's time to grow up, man. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. Anybody who is determined to do something, who wants something to be different, it will eventually be different. When things go wrong, they always seem to happen at once and they just compound on top of each other. And it's, it's pretty easy sometimes to feel beaten when you're faced with all those issues and all those problems and they all hit you at the same time. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right, and you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that it can clobber you to the ground, and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. Don't you quit. Unless you get out every single motherfucking day and put in the work inch by inch by inch, you will never get there. Isn't it about time you become that person you knew you always could be? How do you do that? You break the fucking mold, guys. You get the fuck out of bed when it's cold, when it's early, and go for a fucking run. Commit to one day and see how you feel. And mentally you'll feel like, wow, man, that was fucking alive. You can't talk it all the time. You gotta walk it. Commit to one day, try it, see how it feels. Getting up that fucking early when everyone else is asleep, or when it's that cold. When everybody else says, no, this is not comfortable, we shouldn't do this. You say, yes, motherfucker, I'm gonna introduce myself to it. Let me teach you something. How many of you have ever had a dog that had a flea on it? You ever seen a flea? One of the smallest insects. But for his height and size, the flea has the highest vertical leap in nature for an insect. A flea, man, can come 36 inches off the ground. His vertical is 36. The average person can't do that. If you capture the flea and you put him in a mayonnaise jar and you put the lid on it, he start jumping but he gonna hit himself on that lid. But after a while, the flea makes an adjustment. So now the flea only jumps just to where he don't get knocked back down. His environment got him now jumping nowhere near where he came. You're in this storm and you're down on your knees and you're cold and you're weak and you feel like this is the end. You have a choice to either give up or keep going. Give up or get up. What do you do when your battle chooses you? What do you do when something shows up on your doorstep that you did not directly cause, choose, or definitely anticipate? The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. 
It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Sometimes horrible things happen to good people. Life isn't fair and it can be heart-wrenching. And if you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to feel that darkness. I don't care how low you are. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have experienced. I don't care how devastated your life might appear to be. The shambles it might be in. Wherever you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, you've got comeback power. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't going to like this. Those normal people, it makes them feel like shit, so they're going to judge you. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right, and you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that it can clobber you to the ground, and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. And that's why every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're gonna be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. You need to make it a habit to start every fucking day validating yourself because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just gonna throw in the towel. I'm not gonna do that thing. Hell no. When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. They look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hate. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's gonna get stifled by the two foot pot. Now check this out. Ain't nothing wrong with the seed. Seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. We turn tragedy into triumphs. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunts. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. Are you gonna let this horrible situation dictate the way you feel and the way you handle it? Are you gonna fall over, fall down, fall apart? Or are you going to face this issue with courage and with resolution? You know darkness. So embrace, embrace that darkness. Don't look away from it, own it. Step up to the challenge, no matter what you face. Start walking, take that step every day, no matter what you are facing. 
get up and start walking and never surrender. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you die. Until you get to that point, you let you die. You've never, you're not brave enough. You want to put it on somebody else. The reason why I'm not successful is because of my boss. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. You ain't gonna die at the end of pain and success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. You thought you was just gonna have a dream and a goal and you were just gonna wake up and just walk into the sunset. It don't work like that. You have a dream and then life punks you. Life punks you and say, do you really want this? And so I'm telling y'all, you have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it, get a reward for it. It's hard, but it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth mustering yourself up, standing up inside yourself. It's worth fighting relentlessly, never giving up. Life happens. The unexpected, the uncalled for, the unintentional. We've been damaged emotionally, damaged spiritually. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit, and all of those are gonna leave a mark. But the mark that they leave can be the mark of victory or can be the mark of defeat. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now, whatever it is. I want you to say, I can beat it. I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. I got a family to live for. I ain't through yet. My life ain't over yet. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for. You don't need no money for it. You don't need no support for it. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. The fight is just beginning. You have the opportunity to show the world what you are really made of. I love the sun, but things don't grow because of the sun. You have to have some rain. And you've got to stop looking at rain in your life as something bad. My greatest moments didn't come from my greatest moments. My greatest moments came from my greatest defeats because it was during my defeat that I had to find a way to get back up. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care if you say we outnumbered. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. We gonna stand, we gonna live, and we gonna die by what we stand for and everybody gonna know what we represent and what we're part of. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If you are willing to fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football, I'm telling you at the end of the fight, there's going to come victory. You see, in order to develop real quality, it takes time and it takes pain and it takes endurance and it takes grief and it takes trouble and it takes turmoil and it takes destruction and demolition. God works in the dirt. The opportunity to grow happens in your life, in your home, in your heart, in your spirit. And you are being planted, but you feel like you're being buried. When you plant a seed, it feels buried but it was planted to rise again. And most of us think we are being buried when in fact we are only being planted. And when you are planted, that means you're gonna get up again. And when you are planted, that means you're gonna come forth again. And when you are planted, that means that this is not how the story ends. This is not the end. Don't run from it, don't hide from it, don't duck from it, don't dodge from it, don't run trying to get away from it because you are not being buried. You are being planted. And as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place, as you rise above what you were,
And as you take the form of who you are supposed to be, you will see that in the very act of standing up, in the very act of fighting on, you will become and you will remain unbroken. There's problems that we go through that cause stress, worry, anxiety, and fear, but you might be in the battle of your life. I wanna encourage you. It's not about what's happening around you. It's always about what's happening inside of you. So stand up straight. Stand up straight and march forward. And give someone else some encouragement. Let them see you standing strong. Set an example. And by our very posture, by our very being, we will let the world know that we are here to win. Life is not easy at all. There's going to be challenges. You're going to get beat down. That's the way life is. Life is hard sometimes. Easy, it's not an option. But it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth giving yourself a chance. It's worth mustering yourself up, standing up inside yourself. It's worth fighting relentlessly, never giving up. It's worth it. You can do it. You can do it. You're going to have ups and downs in life. Things are gonna go wrong. And what you need to do is to keep moving forward. No matter what happens, keep moving forward. A champion doesn't become a champion in the ring. He's merely recognized in the ring. The becoming happens during his daily routine. The practicing, the developing, the discipline that when applied consistently can get you to the next level. Look at what most people do and do the opposite. Growth comes through discomfort. You look at a great athlete, it's the way they show up in the championship game is simply how they showed up in the lonely light of the early hours at practice. I don't care how hard you fall. I don't care if nobody don't believe in you. It only takes you believing in yourself to get this thing done. And listen to me, it ain't failure if you learn from it, baby. So if you fall, fall on your back so you can look up, because if you can look up, then you can get up. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. At the end of pain is success. See, getting what you want is up to you. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. See, we got to look our trauma in the face. We got to embrace the pain and the darkness and allow it to mold us. The dark times are when we build higher, dream harder, push further, love deeper. In any area of your life that you want to change, there's one fact that you need to know. You're never going to feel like it. There are no shortcuts. There are no hacks. If you want to take the easy road, I promise you, it's longer and more painful than the hard road. If you set out and you say you're going to do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself. Because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peers. You think you lying to your mother. You think you lying to your teacher. You think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lying to you. In 10 years from now, nobody can do anything for you. That's going to be the life that you create, not anybody else. You make your bed, you got to lay it. I need you to confront you. I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not going to do me like this no more. You're not going to keep procrastinating. You're not going to keep thinking like that. I need you. You're not. You're not going to continue to sabotage me. You're not. I get frustrated with humans when somebody's late and they upset. I get frustrated with humans when somebody borrows money for you and you don't pay it back and you upset. I get upset with humans when you go out to eat and they don't bring your food out the way you want your food out and you are so upset and you let them have it, but then you disappoint you when you don't let you have it. You give you a pass. You give you a pass. 
You are not where you're supposed to be financially, and you gave yourself a pass. You know you better than that. You know you should be further in life, but you keep letting you slide. Hold you accountable, and don't let you off the hook. I want you to challenge you this year to do something you've never done before, to have something you've never had before. Are you the kind of person that can draw the line in the sand? Are you the kind of person who can say, this is enough? Are you the kind of person who says, I am f***ing done with that, and I'm going to become what it is I know I can become? And we want that change more than we want that pizza, more than we want that cigarette. We want the f***ing change more than the sacrifice we're going to make to get it. That's the difference between winners and losers. Everything in your life changes when you learn how to draw a line in the sand. Is it just a game or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Have you possessed the game? And what will separate those of you from the rest is what you do. Everyone likes that warm bed. Everyone needs just five more minutes of slumber in the morning. So they hit snooze. They roll over. They go back to sleep. Are those 15 minutes that sweet that you're going to push back your dream, that you're going to push back your goal? Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months, a whole year. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. Any goal that you want to achieve that's worthwhile in your life require all-in effort. Every moment, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every f***ing year, for as long as it f***ing takes for you to get where you're going, you should be consumed with that path. What you do at night matters. What you do in the morning matters. What you do when your friends are out drinking matters. What you do on Saturday matters. What you do on Sunday matters. The success clock doesn't give a f what day it is. It's gonna run no matter what. And you guys pretend like you can work seven, eight, ten hours a day and then spend the rest of your time f***ing off and you think you're gonna be somewhere and you're not. You have to dedicate every f***ing breath, every f***ing ounce of energy, and every f***ing thought and effort that you possibly have in your heart to becoming what it is you want to be. Because nothing great comes from a position of comfort. Everything worthwhile, everything that is great comes from being in a position of uncomfortable. Nothing worthwhile is easy to get. Everything's gonna make you uncomfortable. Get fucking used to it. And if you can get used to being uncomfortable, your fucking limits are non-existent. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. Some of you are so ignorant. You've been through so much hell. You won't quit now. You should have quit 10 years ago. You don't quit now. It's the 10th round. And when you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. It's about you won't break me. You can't take me. I fought too long. I fought too hard. It's too late now. You should have broke me a long time ago. I'm unbreakable now. You're going to have ups and downs in life. Things are going to go wrong. You're going to lose businesses. You're going to lose jobs. You're going to break up. And there are times when you get injured. And there are times when you get mentally defeated. And you feel like you don't want to do it anymore. And those days go on and on and on. Things are going to go wrong. And what you need to do is to keep moving forward. No matter what happens, keep moving forward. If the enemy within is controlled, then the enemy outside can do you no harm. It's time to say enough is enough. Stop feeling this way about yourself. Stop letting years and years of negative sh affect who you are now. You have the power to stop it. You've got to put your foot down and say, that's it. Enough is enough. 
No longer am I going to listen to that voice inside my head telling me I'm nothing, telling me I'm weak, telling me I'm useless. And today, and from every day after today, I'm going to start fighting back. I'm going to start doing what I want to do with strength and pride. I'm going to take on the world because that's what I'm made to do. That's what's inside me. Let other people blame their parents, their boss, or the system. Let weaker people complain that the world isn't fair. You are the leader of your life. Choose the hard path. The path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice. The path of discipline, humility, and ownership that ultimately leads to freedom. Make discipline part of your daily life, and your daily life will get better. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. That when you have a made-up mind, you don't care about the facts. You don't care about the odds. Because you are creating your own production. You are the star of your show. You are the director. You're writing the script. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. I'm in control here. The power to hold on in spite of everything, the power to endure, the hunger, the ability to face defeat again and again without giving up. This is a winner's quality. You have that quality within you. No one believed in me. I believed in myself. Belief came for me was going through those hell weeks, taping those legs up, getting up early in the morning by myself, no coach, getting myself up, motivating myself every single day. And no one's there saying, come on, David, I'm forming belief. So when those hard times come, I know exactly how to get through them. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts. And you'll be surprised at the things that you're able to do. Some of you have been through so much that you should have lost your mind. Don't think it's strange when things happen to you. Because every man, every woman, every boy, every girl will go through a time where your faith will be tested. You will hit something. And when you do, you will have a choice. Many choose to turn around. They feel a little pain and run away. But there is a small number who decide that the pain is worth the prize. These people will do whatever it takes to make it to the other side. Now, whatever goal you have, you're gonna have some opposition. You're gonna have some difficulties. You're gonna have some challenges. You're gonna have your inner conversation telling you you can't do it. And you're gonna have people picking at you. When you start seeing yourself thinking something negative, stop it right quick. Stop yourself. Catch yourselves. When you find yourself getting negative with people that you have allowed to push your buttons, when you find yourself becoming negative about what's happening to you, you've got to affirm to yourself in the process, hey, no, 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 I can make it. There's some way this can happen for me. As you start believing that you are worthy of good things supposed to happen to you, you develop a sense of entitlement. Good things supposed to happen to me. How do you keep going? Why do you keep going? There's two sides of pain. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. See, some of you have dreams and goals, but hard work, you can't get around it. I wish there was a magic wand that I could wave that your passion, your dream, that thing you want to achieve, it could just happen, but it can't. Hard work is required. Hard work works. And you know what's great about our culture, y'all? The world's lazy. Nobody wants to do it. Everybody will talk about it. Everybody will post about it, but nobody wants to roll their sleeves and just go get it. Most people think they're disqualified from becoming mega successful. They think their past disqualifies them. Their mistakes. You don't know what I'm addicted to. You don't know my mistakes. You don't know my weaknesses. You don't know what I'm not good at. So what you do regularly is you disqualify yourself. And what I'm saying to you, what if the truth was that your greatest mistakes are the very things that do qualify you? What if that's the case? I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. In the process of working on your dreams, 
You are going to incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. When you feel like giving up, don't. When you're thinking about giving up, don't. When it look like you ain't gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, come on, man, who are they? When they tell you you're not gonna make it, don't believe them, man. Don't believe them. You got to be relentless. Listen to me very closely. Y'all running from obstacles when in fact it's the obstacle that's gonna take you to the next level. Y'all running from pain. Y'all running from challenges. You telling me how difficult your life is. Do you understand it is the difficulty that's gonna prepare you and take you to that next level? All of us, at some time or another, have agonized over making a decision. Some decisions are major decisions. And also there are a lot of small decisions that we don't make, that they tax our minds, they drain our energy, they create a lot of anxiety and nervousness and mental torment because we don't take care of it. We decide not to decide, which is a decision. Everybody's got big plans, but the plan's out the window when they get punched in the face. Life is going to test that will every time. Life is going to see how bad you want what you say you want. Stuff happens that are completely out of your control. And when we make plans, it is impossible in our finite state to be able to predict the unusual, unprecedented circumstances that will dramatically affect our plans. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. And you have to deal with it. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be relentless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. You must be very intentional and deliberate. You're not gonna wake up one day and find a law degree. You're gonna have to work for it. You keep negotiating the price you're paying. Man, all the work I'm putting in, it's not paying off. I don't see my family as much. I gotta do all this. You start negotiating it all the time and it's sapping all your damn energy. Successful people don't negotiate price, they negotiate worth. Could this be worth it to me to pay this? And once you decide it's worth it to win, it's worth it to be somebody, the negotiation stops. All of you have extraordinary capabilities, all of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. You need to make it a habit to start every fucking day validating yourself because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just gonna throw in the towel. I'm not gonna do that thing. Hell no. If you've ever had a moment in your life that you have measured yourself and come up short, if you ever poured yourself into an individual, a company, a place, or thing, and didn't get the results you expected, then this one is for you. If you want to be a diamond, you must go through extreme pressure. If you can't take pressure, then you're not a diamond. If you're ready to quit, then don't get started. If you look at what is easy path, don't get started. If you think they're not going to close the door on you and say no a million times, don't get started. But every time they close the door, I just get excited. Why? Because I am not a no. I'm one yes away. It's hard. It's hard changing your life. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. It takes a lot of guts to get up. You don't have nothing but lid in the corner of your pocket. You out there talking about living your dream. And people laughing at you. And they're doubting you. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. No guts, no glory. There's two sides of pain. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. 
But then there's another side of pain. That's called effort. It's called glory. And if you never tap into it, it's because the first time you felt that you backed off. The first time you felt, ah, that burn. The first time you felt that ah, it's too much. And we rationalize with ourselves to where we automatically stop. That's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. But suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. See, sometimes we think the pain is what controls us. It's actually our subconscious mind that if we ever tapped into that, that's what dictates most of our lives. When God gives you a dream, the dream will always be tested. The pressure in your life right now has a purpose. It's not crushing you. It's pushing what's on the inside of you out. It shows you who you are. Life is rough. You can allow it to destroy you or you can allow it to build you up. Draw the line, ladies and gentlemen, and just say enough is enough. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. If you are still alive, there's still room for improvement. There's still room for growth. There's still room to grow and be better. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle, and you don't stop until you get one. Push through pain enough, and there's glory on the other side of it. But you got to get through it. But that's how people look at success. They look at it like you do a few things. I f***ing ate right for three days. Why am I not a f***ing fitness model? I did my tasks that I needed to do. I sent five emails. I called 10 people. Why am I not running a $10 million company? Because they don't understand what mastering the monotonous means. It means doing the sh that most people are too f***ing undisciplined to do day in and day out with perfection doing it better than everybody else, doing it to the best of your ability. It's a choice. You just have to wake up. You just have to break through. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. What is the common denominator of failure? Why are you failing? You never say because of me. Oh, it's the competition. It's the economy. It's the president. If you wake up tomorrow morning and blame your failure on someone or something else, you have no reason to change, do you? But if you woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror and said, I am failing because of me, the decisions that I make, the energy I put in, I'm not passing the blame. If you look in the mirror tomorrow and say that, you will change. Because nobody likes thinking of themselves as a failure. You've got to get grounded. You've got to train your mind to serve you. Just make up your mind. This is not going to control you. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm going to turn this situation around. I'm not going to sit back and, and moan and cry over what happened and what went wrong and who did what. I'm going to do something about this situation. And your problem is, you wake up on Monday and you might be strong, but by Wednesday, you're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is going to happen to you and the best never happens to you. 
You got to be intentional and deliberate, whether you're making money or not making money. You got to decide that you're going to do something, and you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person that just all the good stuff is going to happen to you. If for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, what would you be like? What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? You'd be 10 times more efficient, 20 times more efficient. You have no idea how efficient, efficient people get. You can experience enough pain in life that he can clobber you to the ground and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. See, a lot of us, because of our limited vision of ourselves, a lot of us who begin to focus on problems and enable them to overwhelm us, we begin to think that we have no options. We begin to believe that there's no way out. Well, guess what? There's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. I'm unstoppable.